Okay. Hey, everybody out there on YouTube. Everybody, um, at least on Reddit, has been talking and complaining about uh, the performance in Counter-Strike Global Offensive after the animation update patch with the spherical-based hitboxes and new animations and all that. And as of recently, I've been able to play the game with, you know, here's my processor right here, an Intel i7-4790S. I've recently actually enabled hyper-threading instead of disabling it. I have it locked at 4 gigahertz. I got my memory at just uh, 1333. And um, I put my north bridge, which would be your cache frequency or encore on some other boards. Um, I have that 100 megahertz less, so instead of being at 40 like my CPU is, I have that on 39. And I have a R9 390X, I overclock it a tad, and that's a pretty stable overclock for me. And uh, we're going to, in real time, and the only reason I'm doing this on my phone, because I would never do this on my phone, is so we could see the benchmark in real time without it being on screen capture. I have Fraps running, um, and it also will use the in-game uh, FPS. I limit my FPS in the menu, so I mean, don't even pay attention to that. I'll show you my settings. Now, I guess it kind of matters. 1440 by 1080. Everything on the highest setting. Multi-core on. 8x anti-aliasing and that's it pretty much so we're gonna load up fps benchmark But we'll just watch the fraps on the bottom. I zoom here. See, that FPS is right up there. You don't need a killer amazing rig to pull a good frame rate. But I know FPS benchmark map is not a realistic use case scenario at all so after this 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 will be a bit of a long video i'll reload counter-strike and i guess i'll go into a death match on just a normal uh, valve server 64 tick valve server You know, these smokes are not realistic at all. They're just smoke emitters on the map, and there's multiple placed in the same spot. So, I mean, it's like seven smokes in one that drops your frame rate on this uh, FPS benchmark map. But the thing that matters is this is consistent. It's not supposed to be realistic. It's supposed to be a test of the game's engine with your settings that should be pretty consistent every time you run it. And it is. I've been messing with this for the past couple minutes, and that's the only reason I want to make this video. Chicken. So, let's see. Scroll up a bit here. My average frame rate is 316. So, let's quit. I'll show you my uh, MSI Afterburner here, and CPU usage is doing what it should be doing. It's going up and down for most of the cores. I only I, I force Counter Strike, even though I have you know four logical, eight. Um, I mean four th physical, eight logical, because of hyper threading. I force it to uh, not use all of my CPUs. 
only the real CPUs. So with FRAP still running, let's load up uh, Counter-Strike. I use our input if you're wondering what the um, weird command line is. I'm not loading in hacks or any weird uh, injector. Let's find a quick deathmatch. See, so I limit my FPS when I'm normally playing. Now it's in game. I guess we're on a map end. Another loading, yay! I mean, even here, look at that FPS. Sure, why not? I mean, the thing that really bogs down FPS is the GUI that, that pops up. Whenever you uh, hit tab to have your scoreboard come up, your FPS will drop significantly. Whenever you have console open, it'll drop. I got that weird team select bug. So here, I'll walk around and crap without touching the mouse. All right, let's go this way. I'm not going to try to kill anybody. Look at this guy. I'm not even trying. Come on. Kill me. Kill me, Dirk. Thank you. I mean, as you can see, completely playable when you max out your settings. You just got to do a couple tweaks, and maybe I'll uh, do a video about uh, the tweaks that I've performed and uh, how to do them. Hope this was a little bit informative. I'll uh, see you guys in the next video.